for me and Bentley have not long stepped off the pitch here. It's day one of Soccer Aid training. We've had some absolute legends alongside. They don't come any bigger and better than Danny Dyer, who's joining us now. Hello, boys. Hello. How are you? World 11, you two, I noticed. Yeah, not our choice. Oh, OK. Yeah, Apparently, it was, it was unfair that we were with Team England. Like we were too good, so they want to balance <laughs> it up a bit. Yeah, no, listen, it's, um, England have got to liven itself up. Let's have it right. There's an arrogance about the World <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Honestly, but they, now, they, they, now. Yeah, already. Yeah. yeah, they're booking themselves. We've had one game, we've lost it already. We've got to break it. You know, this pattern, you know, mm. because they're just swanning around, giving it a big and Mind do you, they've got Essien. Do you know what I'm, lo I'm looking forward to? Because you played middle of the park, Dan. Yeah, but listen, I, I, I came on in the wrong half. <laughs> Don't come on in the first half. Never. No. I didn't have a choice either. Bugs, uh, Bugsy Malone got uh, injured and they brought me on. I didn't know where I was playing. I was just running around. <laughs> I, um, I, I've never been so nervous. I've done some things in my life, but that was petrifying. Old Trafford and the noise of the screaming. Not because I ran on, but uh, <laughs> it was all for Liam Payne. But uh, it, it, it's, it's like you can't, it's, it's so like you can't quite work out what's going on. But um, I, I want a little bit longer. I, I, I want to sit in the middle of the field and smash a few people. That's what I want to do. I can't wait well. to see Danny against SEN and, and John Aubrey McKell. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those yeah. two. Well, that's the help that tested it. <laughs> Let me ask you, right? I want to talk about your your um, son-in-law, right? Yes. Jared Bowen. Yep. Are you aware that we know the 26? I'm aware of a few that's been elbowed. Okay. Obviously, Grealish. Yes. That was a surprise. Maguire's a surprise yes. to me. Injured, I think. Must be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Curtis Jones is gone. Yes. Uh, well, are you going to tell me he's gone? Well, no, I'm going to tell you he's not gone. Is, is he going? Yeah. <laughs> He probably knew that, didn't he? I, I swear to God, I had no idea. <laughs> no, I, no. He's in the squad. So he's, he's going. He's well, on the plane. Well, well, as well, he should be. Uh, as yeah, he sh I've got agreed. the seven in front of me, and he's not part of them. So that means he's definitely in the 26. So you've got the seven? Got the seven. Not allowed to reveal it yet. Obviously. Yeah, no, I have. What, an embargo? Uh, Who's no, no, no. James <laughs> Madison, Curtis Jones, Harry Maguire, James Trafford, Jarrell Quanza, Jack Grealish, Jared Branthwaite. You ain't taking Braithwaite. A lot of people seem to be surprised with that one. Well, we ain't got many defenders, have we? No. So to lose two... Well, no, he's lost three. He's lost three, yeah. Oh, oh, Konza. yeah. Konza as well. Yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. Oh, but no, Your boy's listen, going. I'm over the moon, man. Your boy's I, I, going. This kid, he's so, he's, he deserves it. He's worked hard. I think he done, I thought he had a lovely 90 minutes. I didn't know what the 90 minutes... I've been listening to your show, of course, Talk Sport, the governors, and uh, a bit of debate about playing time. What does that mean? That if they play a lot, that means they might not go. And it used to be sort of in debate about, you know, if they don't play, maybe they're... Is there a certainty to go because he knows what you're going to get from him? So I, I just think uh, he should have nicked a goal at the end, obviously. Konza got in the way. <laughs> yeah, he, he loves him, it. and all they're good pals, him too. So, uh, but I, 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 I'm over the moon. I'm so happy. And that's great for my Danny as well and Jared because they didn't quite know what they were doing this summer. They didn't know whether they'd have a holiday. And it also means I will, I will be going to the Euros. I was going to ask you about that because you and I. No, had a I little wouldn't chat. be going if he weren't going. You... Not in a million years. No. <laughs> <laughs> you and I had a little chat in the middle of the park, and I was like, "You going?" And you went, "Well, it all depends whether or not yeah, Garibaldi." Of course, and now, did, yeah. without a doubt, you're going to be going. I'm so happy for him, man. He's worked so hard for it, and he, he's he's so. I tell you what, he's just such a shy, lovely, humble kid. But when he gets on the pitch, he's brave. You know, he never shies. He wants the ball. You know what I mean? He's. he's he, I think he's. I just think he's up there with Saka. You won't agree. And I think there's, it's like, uh, why, why wouldn't you start, Jared? I, I think, I think they've both got the same attributes. I've said that from the start. I think, I think he's got a great pass on him, Jared, and he runs with the ball. The ball sticks to him. He loves taking players on. I think he's got a great shot. I think he's got everything. Uh, uh, he's great in the air as well. He's, he's brave. You know, so it's why, almost why, like you related to why him. Could, no, no, there might be a slight bit of bias, <laughs> but you, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's, an a, he's a great, he's a great player. We know that. Well, he must be right if he's in oh, the 26. Do you know what though? He he wouldn't start any of them two, Saka or, or Bowen, because he's going with Cole Palmer on that side. I think he's just had a magnificent season. Yeah, so is Jared and so is Saka. Yeah, true. And I, they I, all, all three of them have right. I do what like, great I, I, no, I love him, Palmer. I know. I think he is a great player. I think, um, but uh, is he not better sort of in the middle? I know. I know we got obviously it's got Foden. Where are you going to put him? We're in a good place. Yeah, defensively we're not. What's he going to do then? I mean, who's, who's going to be the best? Ben has come up with the answer. Cool. Well, no, I thought that maybe potentially Carl Walker goes in at centre half alongside John Stones, and then you go uh, Trent right back, Trippier left so back. So that means that commits Trent to the defence. And I don't, yeah. I don't think he was great the other night, Trent. <sighs> but I think too many midfielders we've got, too many brilliant midfielders. So I think if we was lacking in that area, then maybe you would chuck Trent in there. But 
That's amazing news, boys. Thanks yeah, for telling good. me that. Well, so I've been a bit nervous all day. I thought it was Saturday as well. I thought we all find out Saturday. That's what right. will be, will be. Do you, do you not know? As in, you haven't spoken to him and he's given you a little listen. I'll tell you what, where no, we're No, because he doesn't know. This is the thing. He let me know when he was in the thing. Like, he texted me and that. But in general, he, 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 you know, he's sort of out of the loop as well, you know? So, do you know what? And he's not lying because I've been there. Obviously, waiting, no, for, you don't know, wait, do waiting for the phone call and then... Yeah. But what, what happened to me, it broke on Sky before I even knew, which was poor. Oh. That's terrible. Yeah, so basically, it came up on Sky Sports. We're here, you know, it's like we're hearing reports yeah. that so and so is not in the squad. And then the phone rings, and my mum was next to me when I said, oh, Listen, I'm not in the squad. That's so how you found out? That's how I found out, yeah. It's a killer, isn't it? It's, it's horrible. It's the worst. It's the same when you audition for something and you really, really want it and you get down to the last two. What, and Sky Sports and give you the answer? Sky Sport, and then it's on Sky Sports, you know what I mean? <laughs> but no, it, it, it really does hurt. It, it's about how do you come back from it, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, uh, you know, because uh, there's a lot of knocks. And how's, he, how's he getting on at West Ham? Is there pressure for him to move to a proper club? What are you talking about? Like where? <laughs> what, 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 what club are you talking about, mate? Honestly. What club are you talking about? <laughs> OK, so it's a backhanded comment. What I mean by that, he's such a good player. Yeah. He should be playing on the biggest stage, well, right? What's the biggest stage? What? Yeah. He's on the biggest stage, Champions yeah. League. Look at that! Well, no, 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 listen. No, look, listen. It's his career. You know, he's an amazing player. I suppose. Um, What's well, a big club now? What? No, not Man United, is it? Can't be Man United. Don't go there. No. Um, not although, at the he did, although, although he did support them as a kid. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, so. Uh, but what, what my point is, Dan, all yeah, jokes but, aside, you've got someone like Declan Rice that was at West Ham. Absolutely. And the only legend. reason Arsenal are good now is because of a West Ham player. Right. That's a bit right. Okay. Uh, but so, there, there will be pressure on not just him but other great players. How do you break the mould with the top six, top, the, you know, the big clubs? You know, why, why can't a club like West Ham keep hold of their players and then become a big club? Why, why is it a foregone conclusion that the big clubs will always take the better players? Like, why can't we change that somehow? Mm. You know, because... Well, it's, I'm guessing it's money. I'm guessing it's Champions League, right? Yeah, but then if you keep hold of your best players and then you it's can add to them players, then you can, you've got a chance of getting in the Champions League. Every time you get a good player, if the bigger clubs like Vultures, like Gannets, <laughs> come round and nick them, yeah. what chance do you stand? But that's just the way of the world, right? It's always like that. You've got your, big, you've got your, your grade-A clubs that will be sort of top four, Again, five. who is that now? Well, yeah. it's going to be Liverpool, it's Arsenal, it's Man City, it's Man United, it's oh, Chelsea. You said, you said, top, you said, you said top four, yeah, 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 it was our five. Man United uh, first. <laughs> but you know, and then you've got the second grade, right? And it's sides like Brighton and West Ham. I think, there. ultimately, the man wants to play football and he wants to be the first man on the team sheet. Does he want to sit on a bench? You know, like there's some players that do go to them big clubs, like Calvin Phillips and all that, who has yeah. got loads of awards, loads of trophies. How much did he commit to it? How much was he part of it? Not much. So uh, it's about, you know, how does that make you feel to go, I've got a trophy cabinet, but I didn't really have much say in it. You do know? you know, it's almost like it's, and certainly with Calvin Phillips, it's like it's, he's gone backwards. Like that move to Manchester City has derailed his career, even though he's got the trophies to show for it. He's gone to West Ham and he's I'm so excited himself. about this man coming. And then his first game. It was awful, and he's never really recovered from it. And that's probably lack of game time, mm. isn't it? Mm. You know, he, he, he just couldn't deal with it. And I, I just think, wow, because it was such a shame. He seems like a lovely kid, but, uh, you know, you, you mentioned him in the same name as West Ham, and it's like, oh, it's yeah. what, what, Just before I let you go, what do you make of the, the changing managers? I'm excited about it. I think we needed to change. It's the first time we're not in Europe for three years, so playing on a Saturday again, which I do like. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad there's a gear change. I don't know what gear we're going in. You know, uh, <laughs> I'm hoping it ain't reverse. <laughs> uh, but, you know, there's something about a, a, a change that excites me and thinking, OK, what's this man going to do? You know, what's he going to bring to the table? We need some players desperately. So uh, we need Flynn Downs back and I'll get him back. And let's just build on it and see and, what this and, man's and about. And you need to keep players like of your course boy, we do. like and we've got to keep older, as well. We've got to keep hold of Kudos. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, well, well we I don't think know. he's banging trouble, the geezer, unfortunately. Oh. I, I hope that's not the case. But Kudos, who you could have nicked, yeah. because you went with Anthony. So, I, did. Five what's what's yeah. I didn't. All right, I didn't. Uh, listen, thank you for coming on. Uh, before I let you go, people, I don't know if you can see this if you're watching on YouTube, but if not, behind us there's like a barrier, and yeah. on the other side of the barrier there were. I don't know if they're still there. There are some plastic boxes. Yes. And and the reason for that is that when you guys come out, all the ex-players or the celebrities like yourself, Dan, mm. you put all your belongings in the plastic box, and That's then when it. you finish, you go back to your box. That's it. Uh, there was one of the ladies that was tidying up. And she just pointed out your box to me. She said, that's Danny Dyers. And I went, how do you know? And she went, he's the only one with cigarettes in there. Yeah, yeah, it's a throwback. You know. <laughs> Something I'm, I'm trying to give up, I really am. But uh, uh, I'm struggling with it at the moment. <laughs> I, I, I think I'll give up when I'm 50. OK. When uh, is that? 
Uh, that's in three years' time. All right. Well, you look good. Benny's thought you were in your 60s. I had to correct him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am a grandfather. <laughs> you are. So, you know. Uh, My do, dad... do, do I want to be the fittest grandfather around? No. <laughs> <laughs> no interest. Well, there you go. <laughs> Dan, it's always a pleasure. Love you, boys. Uh, how are you getting on with Simon Jordan? Are you friends? Oh, I've always been sweet with Simon. Oh, fine, OK. He had an issue with me for some reason. Is it all smooth now? I think now? so. I did a thing for the other day, and he, he seemed sweet as a nut. I think he's got the hump with you for saying he puts lemon in his hair. I never he's said still that. Got, yeah, you, you did, did say I said lemon say juice, lemon and he still hair. does. <laughs> still, got hump, by it. It. still got the hump over Well, mm. price of lemons, he's bound to have now, isn't he? <laughs> now, listen, thank you again. We're big fans Thanks, of yours. Boys. Really appreciate Love it. Yours. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.